Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? If you don't hear the music, there's new music playing on the stereo. Music is not allowed on YouTube. I have no copyright deals for music on my channel. So I was playing around the truck this morning. We were in the shade. Got the battery on the charger for a while. I was getting ready to start it, and I thought, hey, I forgot the camera. So, I got the keys. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this battery's any good. I haven't put a tester on it or anything. I just had it on the charger. I'm having a stinking suspicion that it might be bad. <sighs> I haven't done anything to it. That's our voltage gauge reading. Oh, that's not looking good, is it? I think I have fried my battery. It's been on the charger for... Oh, I did another 12-hour charge on her two days ago. It's been sitting in the garage on the charger, but not running. I didn't do anything with it yesterday. <sighs> You may be swapping it out for a new battery. Where is my multimeter? That one right up here. Is this the bad one that I haven't thrown away yet? Does it have any juice? It has juice. It is on 20 volt DC. Let's see what we can get here. <coughs> I think, after all the charging I've done on it, it would be showing. It's not swelling on the sides at all. I bought it, oh, well, it's about two years old. Year and a half. 11, 11, and 13. fluctuating a lot. 7, 8, 6, 7, 4, 6, 5, 5, so it's actually dropping. We'll just take her out and take her up to the parts store and have them check it. So I drove it last week up to Kevin's place, watched the 53 drive away, left the lights on when I got home, jumped in it on Saturday, completely dead, put it on the 10 amp charge for a couple hours, jumped in it, nothing, left it on the 10 amp for a little while, Jumped in it, it started to buzz. Jumped it up to the 50 amp for a little bit. Still didn't have enough to turn the motor over. Kicked it back down to the 10 amp, let it sit for a little while. I got it to start that night, but I didn't let it run very long. And then uh, the next morning, that was since, uh, Easter Sunday, ran out there, couldn't get it to turn over. So I put the charger under the hood, left it on the 2 amp charge for the day for 12 hours. Figuring that'll get something in it. That night, could hardly get it to do anything. Pulled the battery out, hooked it up on the 2 amp again for a couple hours. Usually when they're dead, I've always read you want a slow trickle charge on them. You don't want to just dump power into them or else things boil over. So I wonder if that's not what I did. If I boiled something over or the plate shorted out or what. So, I hope I don't have to go buy a whole new battery. That'd be expensive. There might be a warranty on this one. I don't remember how long it is, though. So, I don't know. I think we'll pull it, we'll pull it back out. I'm not going to do it today. What time we got here? Clock's behind the door now. Uh, 10 till 1. I've got to head into work for a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's a couple days worth of charging, and it hasn't... Uh, doesn't come back to life, so I think it's dead. Oh well. I guess if I had to, I could pull the battery out of the Jimmy if I needed the truck. Should be the same battery. And that one's good. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and yank it out and uh, see what happens.
So, alrighty. Uh, we'll probably put this up as a quick little update. Yeah, let's go do a walk around the house. What the heck? Put my sunglasses on because it's bright out there. It's a beautiful day. It's about 65. The grass needs to be cut again. I just did that Saturday. Yeah, I washed the car Saturday, so it's all nice and clean. Looks good and white again, huh? This thing. Need to get on it. Need to get on it. Yeah, I got fertilizer on the grass, but if we haven't had any rain, although it's going to start raining tomorrow. You don't hear music. You do not hear any songs playing on the stereo. There is no funk being played on my stereo. Throw this in the garbage. Backyard, I gotta get to some weeding. I got vines starting to grow, pull them out. That's an ivy growing over here. Spray that, I don't want that in my yard. But, uh, this thing can be trimmed back a little bit. There's my mulch pile, that's gotta be dealt with. So I gotta finish up with all that rock. Sprayed some weed killer, gonna dig that out. It'll be a quick little easy deal. Some more of that rock over here. Finish that up, put some more weeds. Oof. And we still got this bad boy sitting in here. I haven't even started this in a few weeks. Get out here and clean the shed too. Stuff everywhere. Oh, I got wasps in here, damn it. Where's he at? Right there. How are they getting in? It's just the one. I don't see a nest anywhere, but I went around the eave troughs there and backfilled everything to seal it up as best I could, but he could be sneaking in around the doors too. Because they don't seal the best, I need to get some latches back on this. Yep, underneath there should be good. I don't see anything, there's one flying around, but I do have a hole there that I drilled for that power cable for the light. I should get some foam in that. And back here is looking alright. Oh, that's nice. Trim the tree and drop the branches in my yard, huh? Oh well, we'll just take them apart and put them on the mulch pile. That tree's looking nice again. Got a fairly uniform shape, getting a little tall again. We'll have to top it again this year, I think. But uh, yeah, just a nice day. That guy's sure taking off. Got these all at the same time. More sitting over here, overgrown, but this one on the corner a little too wet, I think, for it. We'll have to get out here and get the weeds out from around them. It doesn't get a lot of sunlight though, here, so we may not be in a good spot. It may just be him out and you know, put him somewhere over here maybe. This would be put him right there on the corner. 
Let them grow there. So, anywho, nothing else really going on. Getting ready to go to work. This weekend is supposed to be wet and nasty. I think it starts tomorrow or later tonight. Again, there is no funk being played in my house. You do not hear the music. See? You can't hear the music. I uh, probably shut the computer down already, didn't I? Look out, cat. Chair in the chair. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ooh, good backdrop, huh? Oh, what do we want over here? Where's the weather? Weather forecast. Yeah, it feels it sounds like it's 56 out there right now. Today's supposed to be up to 64. The thermometer said it was 63, 64 already. Um, to the five day. Yes, this is a touch screen. Ordered a couple of styluses for it. So, Friday 61, cloudy, Saturday 53, rain, Sunday PM showers. I wonder if in the morning it's supposed to be good. 90% chance on Saturday, 60% on Sunday, 20% chance tomorrow. What do we got here? Do the hourly deal. As we're waiting and waiting. We've got the Comcast high speed internet, but boy it sure isn't very fast sometimes. Oh, sunny for the day. Tomorrow looks like about, let's see here, yeah, so we're into Friday now, Friday evening about 6 p.m. the rain says it's supposed to come in, and then it just stays wet all the way to 12 p.m. on Saturday, so, okay. Is what it is. So uh, it's one o'clock now. I think we'll go ahead and crank the tunes back up <laughs> after you guys are gone, and uh, we'll uh, get this video up for you guys. Hopefully before I leave, and then uh, yeah, pull that battery back out of the truck. So at least it's ready to go. A little disappointing that, but oh well. Oh well. Anyway, we'll catch y'all later. Be good. Maybe we'll see what we can get into this weekend. Not a whole lot going on, especially with the rain. So, a little twisty, spinny thing. I hear you. Where you at? No, she didn't get up on the roof. Ah, oh, there you are. You go hide back inside. Huh? The one that doesn't get on camera very often. Every once in a while. Alrighty, we'll catch y'all later. I'll go inside and edit this up. Bye-bye.